Slim wants the plague doctor. What? Madness. We can do that, Slim. What is this game about? This game, um, which is called uh, Darkest Dungeon. The purpose of this game is basically your ancestor who ruined everything. Um, left you his lands and everything that he had. Oh, one second. Plague Doctor. Oh, wait. Why am I naming it Slim? This is uh, Plague Doctor. The Slim Too Slow. Slim Too Slow. But um, basically, you're here to claim or cleanse your ancestral lands from the uh, the monstrosities that your ancestor summoned. Now, there's a lot more to it than that, but that is the basic premise. That's all you know when you first come here. So basically, um, I haven't seen Dead Man Wonderland, but I guess it's kind of like that. I don't know how that game is handled, but in Dead by Daylight, someone actually controls the killer. So you have one person versus four people, but the four people can't defend themselves. They don't have any kind of weapons. Like, they have ways that they can get away from the killer, but they can't, like, beat him. Like, they can't... Oh, I gotta switch their positions. But they can't kill him. So... Can you be a healer? Absolutely, Bandicoot! We got a best right there. It's a fun game, and I'm pretty atrocious at it, but that's okay, because I have a good time, so... Then we got us, Camera Bandicoot! Bam! Wait, what? Am I wearing eyeliner? Yes. It's like Evolve. It's a similar concept, except in Evolve, the monster actually fights back. Just at low levels, the monster well, tends to lose, pleasure. and at high lo mo levels, the monster tends to, to win. Like, when it evolves. Like. In Dead by Daylight, the only way for the survivors to make it through Even is to actually the escape the match. Seems bent on preventing um, I was bored today. So, I ended up with, like, a couple of, you know, a little bit of extra time. So, I was just like, hey, I'm gonna go play with some eye shadow and stuff. So. This was my, uh, my colors for 2014. Because 2014, the color was electric blue. So, I have my, uh, my electric blue eyeliner. is broken. Maintain the offensive. When I was a younger lad, I actually used to wear makeup to work fairly often, and they told me I had to stop, because it wasn't appropriate for men to wear makeup. So. Because that's America. America! Actually, Akingorp, if you have anyone ever has a um, an emote that you're not familiar with, just hover over it, and it will usually tell you the name of the emote. If you follow... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, you don't follow anyone else on the stream. Because I was going to say, from the name, you would know that it was Admiral Baru because of the name Rue Happy, but... Hey, Spitfire. Um, the only thing that's really happening, Spitfire, is that we had to start a new game because we lost just about everybody to a shambler last Friday, so... Her death by inches. Wait, what story, Drake? Wait, what, huh? Oh, about the makeup? Yeah. Eh. Yeah, that's why I had to stop myself halfway through that Akingor, because I was just like, oh, yeah, you don't know who Admiral Baru is, so... Do, 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 do. Oh! No klepto. Does he shamble around? Oh, yes. He shambles and slithers on a bed of tentacles. The only way to explore. Shambler is a strong mini-boss. That is correct. I will, Spitfire! I will. You will be at it. Ah! Once we get out of here, we gotta start getting some people. We're gonna do it this time. Alright, so the plan for this game this time is... Do or die... We're, the next new game we start is going to be Pitch Black Dungeon again. So, oh, Frozen, if you enjoy tentacles, this is the game for you. Because this game, they do have tentacles. What, Akingorp? You may always make a request, Akingorp. I just don't have to follow it, but what's up? Ah, uh, let's wait to see these guys. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Uh, no promises there, Akingorp. No promises there. 
But uh, yeah, either we're going to beat this new game plus, or if we fail again, the next time we start, we're going to be doing a new or a uh, pitch black dungeon run. So. You do mean all 13 deaths? Yeah, alright, that sounds good. No winning this run? Oh, good one. Bam! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Too many grief. Dre Dre's the first to go red. You go red or you go dead. That is true, Frozen. There you go. Frozen, I like your friend a lot. They have good humors and uh, the, the words. The good words they has much using. Yes, yes. Hey, Slim, whether you like those tentacles or not, they're coming for you. Even if you only got 18% love for them, ain't nothing you can do about it. Remind yourself that overconfidence you, is you a slow them. and insidious killer. There's a such thing as too much anime? What? I used to watch so much anime. And hi, Real Frozen. Pride yourself away from Pokemon. See, okay, I went to my girlfriend yesterday, and I told her that if we were to stay in this relationship that we've been in for so long, that she has to get into Pokemon. That I would get her Pokemon Sun, so that I could have Moon, or vice versa. And, um, the stuff is only the first and her response to that was, now Pokemon are nice, but she's really not that interested. And so if I'm hinging our relationship on Pokemon, either, like, just... Either she goes, or Pokemon goes. So I decided to retract that statement. Um... Because I don't want to have to give up Pokemon, and she's not going to budge. She's just not into it. Just not into Pokemans. Although, what she did do for me was, um... Uh, where the heck is it? Oh, it's up there. So this is possibly one of the greatest mock board games ever made. Ah. So are the anime for Pokemon? Um, I could do that. I don't know if she'd be into it, but I could do that. Thanks, Akingorp. I know, I gotta tuck myself into blankets like an old man. Hey, you damn youngsters, get off my lawn! It's cold here! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But, uh, this... So she started coloring this for me. This is the, um... The Pokemon board game. Except it's... There we go. But it's got the, like, original... Uh, red versus blue Pokemon on it, and it's, um, never beaten it. Frozen's looking like a Metapod right now. Wrapped into blankets. Oh my god, so, I used to rant so much, so in the original Pokemon series, god, I used to lose my mind because I would give so many, what do you want to call it, suspension of disbelief, which probably isn't the right say, way to say things because it's Pokemon in the first place, but in the original Pokemon, Ash Ketchum, Ash Ketchum is in a fight with somebody and that person has a pincer and Ash is using a Metapod. And Ash's Metapod uses Harden so many times that it breaks the pincers, pincers, you know, it, and they shatter. And that, I just, I couldn't deal with that. After that, I could not take the show remotely seriously anymore. Like, as a kid watching the show, I couldn't handle that. Because, like, I just, it broke me. It broke me inside. I couldn't, I couldn't cope anymore. There was just... Nothing for it. I completely lost all interest in the show for the most part after that. Because I was just like, no, no. A Metapod that only knows Harden cannot beat anything ever. Ever! Now, if you evolve your Metapod from a Caterpie, fine. It knows Tackle. That's fine. Metapod's just a more annoying magic herb. Yeah, because it raises its defense until it maxes it out. Alright, who's gonna hit the trap? That's Black right. as death. Um Frozen has taught you the way of the Kappa. 
All right, let's see. Eat it. Yeah, always. Bunch of food and some money. Every time, Kleptos. Every time. Yeah, which is bullshit, Ranger. I'm sorry, that's not how that works, okay? That is not how that works. No matter how much I've sat there and yelled at my Pokemon about, you just have to believe in yourself. I believe in you. You just have to do the right thing. I know you can do it. And then they still just get knocked out anyway. And then, oh, trainer blacked out. Mwah, mwah. So. Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Metapod gains plus 100 all stats if you cry a tear of love onto his shell. Man, Slim got jacked in that one. Jeebus. Yelling at them isn't loving them? You are mistaken, Ranger. You are mistaken. That's how my parents showed their love. Oh, that's not true. That's how I show my love for everybody. I just walk outside and... Hi, everybody. So, exactly like that. And then they're just like, what the hell's wrong with him? Oh, he's just showing that he cares. All right. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't upgrade these. Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Rage equals love. I told you. See, exactly. See? Here goes a jerk if he's stealing food. He he is. He is. He's a kleptomaniac. Um, if you're not familiar with this game, Frozen's Friend, um, I'm sure Frozen can explain it better, but basically all characters have positive quirks and negative quirks. Some of the quirks affect them in battle. Things that are like, oh, you gain bonus stress. But other things are more of a role-playing thing, like Here goes a kleptomaniac. He has a chance whenever you walk up to an item that he might just try to steal it and keep it for himself. Spitfire, Spitfire, you want to be an arbalist or you want to be a leper? That's what we got open right now. What is that pitchfork thing on Slim's number? So what that is, is Slim's stress made it to 100. If their stress gets to 200, they die of a heart attack. At 100, they usually get an affliction. Something like they become masochistic. Uh, they become abusive. They become paranoid. Basically, when you gain an affliction, it's like your most negative qualities come out. You're mean to your allies, which stresses them out. If you're masochistic, you might cut yourself and lose life. If you're paranoid, you might hide in a corner and refuse to take a churn because everyone's out to get you or something like that. So, Arbalist, sounds good. Welcome, Spitfire, the Arbalist. Why does this keep not working, damn it? Uh, does Kirgo cosplay as Mr. Scrooge? No, but he does cosplay as Scrooge McDuck. Virtues, though. There is a small chance that at 100 stress, though, yes, instead of getting an affliction, you might get a virtue where your positive features come out and you actually do things for the good of other people. The Imagine that. Have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls breathe in, to the faithful. Breathe out. This too shall pass. All right, this game is dark. It is Dre. When you yell at your cat, he licks you. Right, Bandicoot? Actually, the cats we have here, they just sort of chew on me. And dude, oh my god. So, the cats here have a particular tendency towards climbing people. And so, like... Um... I have so many new, like, scratches and scars on my back because I'll just be, like, standing there at the kitchen, cooking, doing whatever, and then the cat will just be like, hey, I want to go up there. And just, like, climb up your back, so. That's right, Slim. You went through a single fight, and you managed to get completely stressed out. All right, so Swallow, who we will find eventually and call a grave robber, is definitely going to want this item, so let's try and go here. This is a medium run. We're gonna... What do you got? This is pretty good. Take the leper. Take the herbalist. Ah, oh, I was really hoping they'd have bandage. It's too bad. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Uh, debuff resist. Let's give that to her. You want to see the kitties? Uh, if they come downstairs, I will, uh, I'll grab them. <laughs> 